I am here with this awesome look. It feels really weird to smile, but I am obsessed with these fake tears. Uh, I just, I love it. It feels really weird to smile though. Okay. Anyways, I have a tutorial on how to do the makeup for this look and how to make these tears and to keep them sticking to your face. And I'm just obsessed with this. You can just do this for a Halloween party or whatever, or I don't know, whatever you feel like doing. This is just super fun. I haven't seen any kind of tutorials for this so far, and I've looked for them and I haven't seen them, so I feel like I'm the first. <laughs> so if you guys want to see the rest of this tutorial, go ahead and keep watching. Bye. Okay, so how I'm going to start this look is I'm going to take this base color right here and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Actually, I'm just going to use my finger to pack it in better and give it more pigment. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take this darker brown and I'm going to put that in the crease. And this is just a super easy tutorial and it's kind of slightly inspired by Barbie's eyeshadow. I'm going to take this brown once again on my angled brush and I'm going to put that in my lash line. Just a very thin line. Okay, so after that I'm going to go in with this that you've seen in my past three makeup videos but I use it all the time and it is a makeup essential. And I'm going to take the dark brown and put that even deeper in the crease, I guess, just to define the crease even more. So now I'm going to take this colored blush, this right here, and I'm going to use this as eyeshadow on my fluffy brush and just get some of that there. And we're going to put it in the upper crease brow bone area, not really brow bone, but I think you'll get the gist of it. And this is going to blend everything out at the same time. And you just want it to really, really be pink. And I'm going to make my crease darker, just reapply the dark brown. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my gel eyeliner on an angled brush and I'm going to give myself a small, teeny tiny little wing. We want this to be small and straight so that it gives more sad puppy dog eyes. And I know you're not supposed to stretch out your eyelid, but this isn't necessary. <laughs> Just keep it a very thin line too. Now I'm just going to do a teeny tiny little wing and try not to make it too long or make it too high pointed up at an angle I guess. It's just really supposed to be straight and I might have made this a little bit too long but we'll survive. The majority of this look is lots and lots of glitter and sparkle. That's what kind of gives it the cyber and sad essence. So I have just this e.l.f. long-lasting lustry... what? I don't know. But it's probably like a dollar, so all you gotta do is get some of it on your finger and pat it on. And this, if you consider glitter pigmented, then this is super pigmented. See? <laughs> Just be very careful with it. We really want to save it for the inner eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some white eyeliner and I'm going to put that in my waterline and in my inner corners. And you want a lot of this. Try to make the inner highlight really bold. Okay, so I'm going to get this white eyeshadow here, get it on my pinky, and then just stick it on the inner corner of my eyes to give it some shiver and... shiver? <laughs> to give it some shimmer and brighten it up. And then 
once again go in with the sparkles and put that in your inner corner. Just like everything else, that's this inner corner probably has more makeup than the rest of me. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to put on fake eyelashes just to make this look a little bit more magical, but I'm not going to make any promises that it'll look nice or that I'm good at it because I'm really an amateur at applying false eyelashes, so let's try it. Okay, actually really scared to mess this up. <laughs> Wow, I don't think I've ever had this easy of a time applying false eyelashes. Um, I think there's a problem, but I'm not going to question it. So let's just head on with the mascara, which I am just going to apply to my bottom lashes. I got mascara on my nose. Okay, so now that I got my mascara on, I'm just gonna go with my regular contouring process. And I'm also going to apply my regular, what I use as highlighter, in the regular where I put my highlighter places. <laughs> and you want to exaggerate it a bit because you can. Okay, and just to make this even better, I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. shimmer right on top of the places that I put my highlight. Just be careful not to overdo it, but I think it looks so adorable. And it's... looks... And it... And it looks good if you put a lot of shimmer, not too much, to where it's freaky, um, on your cupid's bow as well. And then with that same blush we used as eyeshadow earlier, I'm using that with a brush, blush, brush, and just putting that in this sort of blushy area. Now we can go ahead and get started on the tiers we are going to make. Okay, so what you're going to need to make the tiers is a hot glue gun and some sort of mug or plate. Um, I tried using a paper plate, but you're, once you have the hot glue on it, you have to peel it off and the paper just, I don't know, came up with it. But if you have wax paper, that'll work as well. I just don't have any wax paper and this is what was the closest thing to me. So basically all you're going to do is use a hot glue gun and do your little tear pattern. So I'll show you how I did that. Okay, and if you need to, you can just draw a pattern or something here. But I think I got the gist of how I'm going to do it. So you can just watch. I'll try to get it to where you can see. Try to make it thin where it's going to be the closest to the eye and curve up. This is hard doing it with the camera here at the same time. And when you're towards the end of the tear, you want to thicken it out. Plus, we can smooth everything out if it has some weird jagged edges, you can just cut it up with scissors, but for now, let it dry. So being careful, once it's dry or mostly dry, we're going to try and peel off the tear. Just be very careful because you don't want to be pulling it this way and it's it will start stretching out, so let's try this. This helps when if you have nails as well. So mine is peeling off pretty well. And yeah, I don't know if hot glue is safe to put near your eye, but it's dry and we're not putting it in our eye. So I think everything should be fine. I got it peeled off pretty well. Just need to put this last little bit. And there we go, we got a nice little tear. 
which we're going to put right here. Okay, so this is a tear I made a little while ago from the hot glue, and this is the one I just showed you. Okay, so now you may be wondering how I'm going to get the tear to stick on. Well, that's where your lash glue comes in, or I don't know, some sort of Halloween glue. Either one works, whatever works. Um, I think you should get something stronger than lash, lash glue, though, if you're going out for a long time. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of it. Okay, I just got that tear on. Feels really weird. Um, I hope it doesn't fall off. But now I'm gonna show you how to put this one on. Put it under your lashes when you're putting it on and it should stick pretty well. And you've got to hold it in place. <laughs> oh, just be careful with the smiling. You're not supposed to smile anyway, so. And if you want to, you can get some blue eyeshadow or just, I don't know, some sort of eyeshadow and put it over the tears, which instead of that, I'm going to get some of my shimmery lip gloss <laughs> and I'm going to put that over the tears. I'm obsessed with this. I'm literally obsessed with that. Look at that. I'm obsessed. Oh and I'm gonna go back in with the same exact lip gloss. Just pop it right in the middle. It's supposed to give you like a pouty look. I actually should have put on my red lip balm first. I forgot, but let's do that. And I just have my hair in some cute little French braids that go into pigtails, which really, really adds to the look. Okay guys, this is the finishing look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, then obviously like it. If you didn't like it, then obviously you still have to like it and to subscribe and follow all my links down below. I'll see you guys later. I love this look, I'm obsessed with it. I'm a genius, just saying. Bye. If only everyone looked this good when they're crying. And basically you can live out your inner self without actually crying in front of people. I'm kidding. Please don't relate to that. <laughs>